Hey guys, it's Book Arts here, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York City. Let's go. Check this out. A little bit of a retro box. You don't see this stuff broken that often. In front of me today, I have a box of 2003, 2004 ITG Parker's Original 6, Montreal. Let's brawl, let's stand tall. 06, man. How cool is this? Configuration, six cards per pack, 24 packs per box, 144 cards total. The base set is one through 60. Then you have the all-stars, the captains, the enshrines, and their franchise leaders up to 100. There are some base inserts, like the retired numbers, the trophy winners, and the first rounders, but mostly it's about relics. You receive one relic per box only but it does have a lot of historical players. So I know there's game use jerseys and sticking jerseys and game use gear, all the typical ITG stuff, like the vintage mems and the 06 shooters, which actually include some non-habs. Uh, I know there's some duels and retired numbers, all kinds of cool things you can potentially hit. There are autos in this product, but unfortunately, man, they're numbered to 90 or less. I think there's about 1,505 total in the entire population. So it's unlikely to hit an auto, but there would be a Bellavo, there would be an Elmer Locke, unbelievably, a Guy Lafleur, of course, before he was deceased, this is 2003, a uh, Frankie Mahovlich, uh, Henri Richard, Larry Robinson, some pretty good names. So. Uh, that's the name of the game. And don't forget these original six boxes. Uh, they existed for only six franchises, the original six franchises. I mean, the plastic is shredding. So that's how old school this product is. Uh, probably the cards will stick a bit, we'll see. So when Parkers was ITG, of course, around 2005, six, uh, it definitely was upper deck, changed hands a couple of times. And of course it's a throwback to the 1950s cards, the famous Rocket Richard from 51, 52, all the rookie cards, even though he started in the league earlier, but his rookie card of course was that 51, 52 set. Uh, so let's let's do it, guys. And just keep in mind, I mean, we could hit a Yan Boulis um, man, but also the, I know that the sticks include a Vizina, a Plant, a Morris Richard, a Belleville Lafleur, and Harvey. And I also know that the vintage mems include Aurel Joliet and some other unbelievable names like Nuzi Lalonde. But it's also likely that we will hit somebody who's more contemporary from the early uh, 2000s, like Steve Bejean is a good example, actually. Very white cards, very basic cards, uh, very clean cards, and again, a very much a throwback to the 1950s cards. So let's do it, guys. Chad Kilger. So these would be cards one through 30 would be the uh, would be the lesser known, more contemporary names. And there we do have our first trophy winners of Howie Morenz. And uh, that is that is unbelievable. And that's a heart, I believe, isn't it? Yeah, that is unbelievable. A Howie Morenz card, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And then we have this point system. I guess it's like the he shoots, he scores, as well as a Larry Robinson, which would be, I assume, greater than 30, because I think 31 and on. Oh, this is actually, what is this? Oh yeah, it's, that's right, it's 68, so it's above 30. And there is an enshrined card, an enshrined card, which is actually still part of the tier checklist. Okay, just getting it all sorted out because I think the enshrines are 81 through 90. The franchise leaders are 91 through 100. Okay, so there's Joey Juno. Uh, and we have a Savard, as well as a Butch Bouchard. These are really nice looking cards, man. I absolutely love them. Continuing on. Wow, look at that. That's a Jack Plant. And there is an enshrined of Guy Lafleur. So that's right at the end of the checklist. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. So end of the checklist, I said enshrined in the franchise leaders. Very pretty cards, man. Sunstrom, this is going to be amazing. Dagenet, really hard to read, I must say. Uh, of course, that's Larry Robinson. And here's a Butch Bouchard. And this... Uh, what is it? It's a captain's card, okay. And a franchise leaders of Henri Richard. And it actually has the top career games. And there you have Henri Richard at the top. He did overlap with his brother in the 50s. Uh, I think 60 was uh, Morris Richard's last year. Very, very cool stuff. Man, oh man, it's written very small. I have to say that's Yvon Conoyer. There's that Jack Plant. There's an original six two point system with Boston. There's the Saku uh, Koivu captain's card. And there is the franchise leader. I assume it would be in goals, and we, we shall see. And it is three goal games is what it is. Wow, 26 for Morris Richard, wow. Of course, he was the first one to score 50 and 50. Bobby Hill was the first to score over 50. Uh, Morris Richard had 50 in 
50, which was the initial claim to fame, the first one to score 50. All right, Hosa, well, we could hit a Komisarek um, jersey for sure. These are really, there's Frankie Mahovlich, there's a Leafs point system, and this is Doug Harvey. So these again are like our inserts or our, no, above 60 is what these are. And there's the enshrined, and this one's Doug Harvey. Numbers retired, all these guys. So just going through it fairly slowly, guys, because it really is a treat. Oh, wow, Rogi Vachon, that's a very pretty card. I wish I could get an autograph from him. Steve Shutt. And there is an Henri Richard card again. These are just so beautiful. And the enshrined of Yvon, the Roadrunner Colnoyer. See if I can pick it up a bit, guys. There's Ron Haines, he played also on the Leaves Zednik. Uh, La Perriere, also a coach. And look at that Elmer Locke, what a beautiful card. I am loving these, man. And Jean Beliveau enshrined. So those uh, cards 60 and above would be, I guess, all-star cards is what they are. Oh, wait a second, look at that. So there you go, you basically have everything listed here. I had to look this stuff up, but there you go, you have everything listed. What we're not completely 100% sure about are the print runs. Uh, the print runs are best guesses, I think, even on the checklist online. So there's Theodore, there's Howie Morenz, who died of a broken heart, uh, Jean-Guy Talbot, Jean Beliveau, so I guess that's one of the all-star cards, if it's in the 60s indeed, and then the enshrined of Morris the Rocket Richard. So we will receive one jersey or auto, probably a jersey, hopefully someone vintage, but you know, who knows? Christopher Higgins, uh, Quintal, and look at this one of Dollar Zellerin. There's the Roadrunner, and as well as the franchise leaders of Jean Beliveau. And this one here is uh, top 10 career goals by Centerman. You see Lemaire right up there as well. And you know, interestingly, Carpinel, who was a defensive specialist, but uh, he was he was good offensively in junior for sure. All right, uh, Ribeiro, La Pointe, and there's Denis Savard. And look at this thing here, man. A New Zealand captain's card. That is sick. What a cool image. That is very cool. And there's Steve Shutt. Uh, so this would be top 10 goals in a season. You have Shutt and then you have all the Lafleurs on the wing. He scored that 60, what was it, a 60 goal season? It was like, a, yeah, it was a 60 goal season. I think Lafleur also had a 60 goal season. And he had multiple 50 goal seasons. I can't even see, that's Caton, I think. And there's a Toe Blake. These are just beautiful cards. And look at that Henri Richard sitting on the bench. Enshrined. Jason Ward, I mean, very 2000s, man. There's Rocket Richard, famous image of him. That is a cool all-star of Howie Moran's. How beautiful is that? As well as a George Vizina card. One thing I've been complaining about recently is the fact that you do not see many, is this thicker? Let's see. Yeah, one thing I've been complaining about is how short-sighted the hobby is in terms of what people collect and everybody was, people were just, blasting synergy the other day yet a lot of the comments that i received online were very positive about it uh, we just don't know how the hobby is going to evolve but uh one thing that i don't like is the fact that you generally do not see very many vizina cards in upper deck i think masterpieces had and that was about it it's just like you should see more vizina cards so this is a beautiful trophy winners of from patrick here and of course he's a multi vizina winner so that's very nice uh, another Morris Richard captain's card, and there we have a franchise leaders of Jacques Plante. So that would obviously be wins, but the guy in the background there, I don't know if you guys can see that card, uh, that Carrie Price, that was a gift to me, thank you. Um, yeah, of course Carrie Price is now the uh, wiener in terms of um, wins. So continue on, another Vizina card, very beautiful. Uh, that would be a Jean Beliveau captain's card, and then the flat franchise leaders of Flower with assists. Markov, I like to see his number raised someday. He was just such a great leader on the Habs. Uh, that is John Ferguson. Uh, pretty cool. Senior, I guess. Uh, Guy Lafleur, as well as another enshrined of Howie Morenz. Mathieu Garon, played on the Habs for a few minutes. Uh, that is very cool. That's a Bill Durnham uh, card. Very, very pretty. We have the Blackhawks. We have another Patrick, as well as an Henri Richard. 
should receive a mem, guys. We shouldn't receive an auto just because they're so rare. When I say there's 1,500 in existence total, that's that means it's really impossible to hit them. And you think that's basically a future watch and a half from one player. Another Henri Richard and Aguila Fleur franchise leaders. Uh, career points, Saku Koivu. I think that's Naslin was better than Saku Koivu all in all in terms of points per game. Different era though, I guess, a bit. Uh, look at that, Evgeny Donfu, speaking of centers. So there we have him as a captain. And a Morris Richard, just plenty Morris Richard cards. So that was top 10 goals, I guess. All right, continuing on, last stack here. So we've got Dackel, uh, we've got Chelios, we've got Ferguson, and we have another Patrick Roy, St. Patrick, and an enshrined of Henri Richard. So there is a lot of repetition at this point. You can see how these packs would be better sold as singles packs, uh, just because, you know, if you love the halves, you'll love these. Saku Koivu, we have a Garon again, and we have another Bill Durnham. So definitely repetition, so much repetition at this point. All right, so we have an Olivier Michaud. Um, I, this might actually be our hit because that that right there is a different coloring and that was not a point system, so we'll see who it is. Uh, franchise leaders, again, of Jacques Plante. We have a Steve Shutt, we have a Michaud, and behind the Guy Lafleur uh, is, <laughs> for a second I thought it was Richard, but of course it's just another uh, base. So let's see who this is. Let's see, so. It looks like a contemporary helmet, which is not the best, so it's probably a player from the 2000s. Five. Five is Don Don was 25, and um, I think it's Cantal was the other one who has five, right? Don wasn't Don 25 and Cantal was five? Let's see here. Let's see who it is. I mean, it's obviously not Saku Koivu. And it is, well, it's dual colored. I'll take it. So it's a game use jersey, which is a pretty basic insert for this when you consider you can hit sticks and stuff. And it is in fact, a, a Stéphane Quintal. So, you know, not the best one, I have to admit, but still a beautiful card. I love the coloring on it. And uh, of all the contemporary players, at least he's one that we remember slightly fondly as opposed to some of the other guys who don't. I mean, it was a tough era for the Habs. The early 2000s was not their best era. It was really like their worst era in some ways, pre-price, you know? Uh, continuing on, so there we have a Dickie Moore. That's pretty cool. Wasn't he 12? Uh, we have another Donfus, and we have another franchise leader of Maurice Richard. Last two packs, guys, unless we, you know, post something else, it looks like they'll be probably cards we've already hit. Um, it's fun stuff. I do have another box of this stuff. I think it might be the Toronto box that I still have, but that one's in Montreal. There's Patrick Roy, beautiful sort of 80s or 86, 87 vibe. Uh, yeah, man, once his mask was colored, right? So last pack, guys, let's see if we can hit anything else in this. I assume it's just base, but uh, who knows, right? Uh, one mem per box, unfortunately, is what you're guaranteed in this product, uh, early days of this stuff. Uh, a very nice Gump Worsley, I'll take that. Oh, what is this? Oh, look at this, we have a retired number. These are really cool. So these are actual inserts. So we actually hit a base insert to end it off. So we hit the Doug Harvey uh, base insert. Very, very nice. So that's very cool. So we got a banner to end it off. So that's basically it, guys. I mean, what a product, a really meditative break. I have to say, I don't know of another product where you can pull no fewer than one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Gila Fleur cards and eight Morris Richard cards, mindful that there's some dupes, of course, um, sitting in the room. I don't even know where he's sitting there. And look at this one. This is sort of a legendary photo of his with his intensity. Just really cool. Uh, and, and, you know, just a ton of Howie Moran's cards and Jack Plant and so on. And there are so few products in the hobby where you can hit Vizina. You just you just don't see these cards. Even Upper Deck, I think it's only in Masterpieces you'll see Vizinas, you just don't see it. And even a New Zealand captain's card. So fun rip, guys, a fun break, long meditative break. So guys, do me the honor of subbing, liking, hashtagging, dried, and do me that honor. I've been Full Cards Live at Ref from a place called Brooklyn, New York City. Shake it. Just don't tell them you know